All right, so uh, this is Katini from Darkness to Light. This is a game for uh, one to six players. You can play it uh, competitive, uh, cooperative, or solo. Uh, in this playthrough, we're going to play um, a two player competitive game. Uh, and this game takes place during the late 1800s, in the early 1900s in Indonesia, where uh the struggle for independence uh from the dutch and they did that through education so we're gonna manage our schools each player has a school school board here it's a player area and play board uh we also have the victory point tracker here see um so uh, in each each game is played in three rounds. So each round has a scoring for each round, uh, depending on what you have done. In co-op, we instead have milestones, they're called, that have uh, certain goals that you need to achieve together. Uh, so first round, you have these green cards. There are five of each uh, difficulty. And you need to achieve each one to win the game. So if you fail the second one, you lost the game, basically, uh, or the first. So you need to cooperatively manage this together. Other than that, it's a pretty, pretty straightforward game. Uh, you can do on a player's turn, you do one action, then the other, the next player do one action, and you go around the table until everybody has passed. And then you proceed to the milestone phase where you score one of the, the rounds milestone. And then we have a cleanup phase where you gain income and stuff like that. You reset and repopulate the board and stuff like that. And so we can just start right away. We can do the what you need to do to. Uh, get points in the game, which you track around the board here, is that you need to graduate students. When you graduate a student, you sort of lock, unlock possibilities in the society and you, you sort of start a movement uh, towards uh, getting freedom or independence. So uh, first of all, you need to have a teacher in each of the classrooms. Each player has uh, three classrooms uh, that corresponds with three of the occupations in the game. So uh, what you do is that you just grab a teacher and you put it in the classroom. Uh, I forgot one thing. You have secret goals. Uh, you have cartini letters in your hand here. Uh, you sh should choose one of those. Uh, gonna show one here uh, so you have on the bottom part of the card you have uh, an end goal that you need to achieve yourself and the points is in the top uh, bottom right corner and on the left side you have your starting resources so the start of the game you choose both your starting resources and your end goal that you want to achieve, and you discard the, the other one. Okay. So you could just uh, start by choosing those. Um, the little bag icon on the bottom is your endowment. It is the left track of your board. That determines your uh, income uh, at the end of each round. And the flower icon is your reputation which you gain when you graduate students, which is also a um, uh, requirement that is needed in certain uh, elements of the game. And when you choose books, uh, you're gonna choose in the, op like the reversed turn order here, player order. So purple player will choose the books before the yellow player because yellow will go first in the turn order. 
All right, so. Um, Okay. Yeah, so how many books have you chosen a card? Yes. yes. Uh, where do we put the cards that we're getting rid of? I uh, just put it here, the pile here. Uh, yeah, and then you just you collect books which are here. And what you should notice, like the first time you play this, like, oh shit, what, what books should I take? But um, you could look here at your the students available for the purple player at the start of the game are these two. So you should probably choose books that matches this. And this means two of any. So a blue book or two of any. So we. I don't know how many books you are uh, okay. to take. Uh, so the the leisure that we chose is that public information. Uh, yes, you you could slide it okay. under your school board to show okay. the other players your starting resources. Okay, awesome. I I thought that the starting resources should be public, but I, yeah, I, uh, you know, often often. Holes are secret. So. Exactly. Yeah. So that's okay. that's one thing you can do okay. if you don't trust each other. You can slide it under the uh, under the under your player board, school board. So you can show that you're taking the correct things. Uh, but it, you know, in TTS, it's it's not made for. It's not simple to do that in here. So, but yeah. So three books you should collect. Them. Then you can keep it in your hand. It's fine. All right. And where are the books? Yeah, they are here. And this little calculator here is is tracking your money. Yeah, and then Peter can choose as well. I mean, he's not going to take all of the of one color. Uh, one thing you can also consider uh, when you take books are these heroes down here. Um, but th this is a learning game, so um, but these are very useful, and these are. 19 heroes that are real women that was um, you know active during this period uh, and you have the fluff text on the bottom and these are kind of like normal students that you graduate them in the same way but they have a special ability that you gain there could be persistent ones there could be one times so there could be one per game once per round um, so these are something you can consider as well. Uh, but if we start simple, you can uh, take the students of, of your island. OK. So now you have your started resources. Let's and just if do. If my victory condition says graduate someone from different islands, so, yeah. so these heroes do not count. They count as um, you see the meeple icon here is gray. Oh, okay, okay. Which means it could be of any any color. Okay. You track um, different islands by their color, and they also have different shapes. If you have colorblind friends or so, they should be distinguishable even by their shape. Um, okay, so we can just go through each action. I think you will grasp it pretty quickly. The The graduation action is sort of 80% of the game. So the other actions are very quick. Uh, so 
hire a teacher is one action you can do. So, and you need to have a teacher to uh, graduate a student. So, Peter starts. Uh, maybe you have caught your eye on these two. So, yeah, a fighter teacher is a good uh, start. And they cost either one money or one endowment. So, you choose one of them. So should, should I start? Yeah. So uh, I, I just want to check that I've got the starting resources that I should have. Yeah. So um, we've got uh, endowment, which is income. We've got reputation. Yes. We've got the circle, which I'm not sure what that is. And we've got books. Yeah. You, it looks it correct. Looks correct. This is uh, okay. Uh, so the circle is your starting money. So you yeah. could have different starting money to your endowment. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. So oh. you all start at one island. So Peter starts at Java, in yellow, and uh, Sulawesi here is. Uh, um, also a starting island and then we uh, you could sort of you play schools on new islands then you open up new cards that you could recruit or uh, register another more students oh, I, so I hired... yeah. yeah so you're you're looking at taking this one maybe and, uh, and that I, has i the... pay one uh, do it Yes. Yeah. And uh, yes, that's your turn. Yes. Okay. So we pick students from our islands. So for me, Sulawesi. Yes, and but you could. These are also students I could. Yes. Pick. So maybe I could go over all the actions if you want from the start. Um, so uh, either you hire uh, you hire a teacher here. That's one action. You grab it and you pay for it. Mm -hmm. Other then you can recruit pupils, which is. In a region where you have a school, you collect all the meeples there. But during setup of the game, you already collected two of them. So what? Um, so we have a, basically we want a teacher in each of each type. No. Um, no, only the ones matching your students. Uh, okay. And this one is a question mark, so this can go in any classroom. Okay, cool. And so the politician teacher is probably a good one for me. Then. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, and as you see, they are limited, so they could they could disappear as well during the game. But we will see. These are also uh, during the cleanup phase. All these teachers are gone, so they they go back here. So you have them for one round. Ah, uh, okay. And then, but, but and then you have the cost, right? So yeah, one do I it. One go money. Down one money and one endowment. Uh, it's or so you you choose. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and cool. then I already told you about the recruit the pupil action, which you collect meeples from the. From the map where you have a school mm -hmm. from that region each island has three regions so but then we have the register student action which is what you are probably going to do now which is that okay. you take you take one card from an island row like the student row that you have a school on so currently uh, 
Like Peter can only take these two cards because he doesn't have a school anywhere else. Uh, right. But he needs to have, before he can take a card here, a student, he needs to have a meeple of matching color. Okay. So the color, yeah. uh, color frame and the colored meeple needs to match. Except the heroes. The heroes so, can have any colored meeple. Okay. So the... Um, and... All right. So, so Peter did an action which was to get a teacher. I did an action which was to get a teacher. Yes. So now it's Peter okay. again. Okay. Cool. I'm and you, I'm getting the. Yeah, it's very good. And you notice these tokens here on each island. There's a two do it token, which means that this card costs two money to t to register. So this, the rightmost in this case, is uh, for like free to take. Also, this one is free to take. Yeah. Uh, the other ones needs, yeah, you need to pay to get them. Uh, so just take one as a registered student. You take one of the cards from yeah, a student so row, this. or you can take a hero. The heroes are free to take. You can take the top, top one of the pile as well. And you need to put it in a classroom that matches the icons on the back. In the background there. It's aspiration. Yeah, exactly. And then you put the meeple on the meeple icon just so you remember that you have the same, that they match. Yeah, good. And so Peter's axiom, and then it's you. So the um, e each student has the their books in their top right corner. Yes. Is that a requirement to take them, or is that what you need to graduate them? Or yeah, that's what you need to graduate them. Okay, so uh, so, so I already have two students that I could potentially get, that I could graduate. Yes, that's um, very good. Well, I'll, I'll try going for this uh, hero. Um, right. yeah. So, um, I, I don't understand her ability. Uh -huh. Oh, you, I'll... Uh, it's... Um, yeah, it's uh, interesting. So your reputation now is one, yeah. but once per game you can raise it to eight and you can't go lower than three, which is pretty good because you can, uh, you see the, when you have a fighter, for instance, you, you will, that's the way to get to another island is through the fighters. And you see there's a requirement of reputation to go to islands. So this one has an eight. This means that you could go here, even though, ah, yeah, your school is already here. So you probably shouldn't okay. go there. But uh, yeah, it opened right. up this seven here. You can go here. And the higher the reputation requirement is, the higher the reward. Mm -hmm. So, and it also when you get, I'll get to those uh, graduations later or soon, but you also need reputations to get uh, further out on these student rows here. Right, yeah, gotcha. And also here is a reputation requirement. So you sort of, good that you get that up, but um, yeah, right. we'll see how it plays. It's, uh, and you refresh this market right away, so a new hero comes up. Mm -hmm. And is that, um... That, that happens immediately, uh, then. Yes. Uh, and now it's Peter's turn, because now you both did uh, register students. Uh, well, uh, gather books is another action you can do, uh, but we did this during setup. But uh, you can buy up to three books from here, uh, and you pay two money for each one of them. Yeah. You could also, if you want to, trade like that, you can trade these two for a green book or something, two for one. 
it's yeah. expensive but sometimes yeah okay yeah you could also trade with another player if you have a school on the same island you could uh, i was going to ask if there was a point in going yeah. to the an island yeah. that someone else was at yeah so and that's a key yeah. thing to when you play cooperatively so you can trade with each other and stuff uh, right i see now, yeah Okay, so yeah, you. So Peter, you did you only start with one book? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but you had a lot of money, right? Yeah. So I go for books. Yeah. And, and let's see what. I did. Mm. You should probably maybe buy a red book so it matches your students. I know. But then, yeah, what after that? Yeah, both of you are starting with politicians, which is um, the long term sort of. Um, Politicians allows building new schools. Um, you can move schools by uh, with politicians. Should I go through what each uh, aspiration does? Okay. When you create them, so so you know a little bit more, because that's sure. the that's the last action, and that that's the action that you are going to do now. Um, so for instance, you're politicians now. The politician, you will. Uh, you will take the meeple, you will take a hat, you will put your meeple on it, and then you will place it on a school, on a student row, on an icon here, uh, matching the, uh, uh, where you have a school, basically. It doesn't need to be yellow, as long as you have a school there. But then you, you take this, this bonus token, and this says, uh, in th by the end of the game, you gain one additional point for each fighter you have graduated. Okay. And you gain one victory point here. Uh, and then you can move as oh, you should follow uh, your player aid here, by the way. It says yeah. all the steps here, basically, in which, in which, um, aspiration so you're gonna pay uh, the requirement you're gonna pay the books first then you're gonna gain a reputation if you graduate a hero you gain two rep uh, then you discard a card to a, a personal discard pile and then you do the step that i did you move the uh, student up here uh, the pupil and then here you see you uh, you gain the bonus token, you also add the top card here to the new slot. And that one costs nothing for that player. But later in the game, if let's say here, this card is here, and uh, another player comes and wants to register this student, he needs to pay one money to the yellow player. Since it's a yellow yellow disc here, so okay. it did, it's the disc that determines the player, not the meeple color. Yeah, yeah, because we could end up with all kinds of meeple colors, right? Yeah, exactly. So I go uh, by and then you, yes, and just gonna the last thing in uh, politician is that you can move a school to a border. If it's on a border, you can choose to either take the pupils from, yeah, either of the regions. So, okay. When you do the recruit action. So I pay three to buy books, and I take two red and one green. 
I thought it was two for each. Two for each book, yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah, it's expensive. Um, that's more expensive. Yes. Um, but if you buy two red books, it would be good. Because you, mm. you, this... Here's a, here's this a question. Book. When did the... Um... When did the printing press arrive in uh, Indonesia? I, I would have oh. guessed that it would be... Uh, you know, we're talking about printed books, or a lot of the books that we'd be buying. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That's an interesting and good question. I'll, I'll ask Sharia, uh, who's yeah. the designer of this game. No, I, I'm done. Yeah. So, Peter bought a book, bought two books. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, two reds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, so I have a student that I can graduate. Yes. Can I graduate her this term? Yes, you can do that. You have uh, three books, and you have the meeple on it, and you have a teacher, so that's perfect. Okay. And then you, you there follow any reason why I might not want to graduate her now. Um not much. No. I mean you've already taken the card, so each yeah, okay. uh, during um cleanup for each like a uh, pupil you have that is not graduated, you you lose one reputation. So that's one thing that you know you you don't want the kids just hanging around your school you want to educate them right so you do want it to graduate the turn that you get a card yeah and okay. i mean sure. and you can use your ability yeah so where do i put this yeah just next yeah just there right. like next to it awesome. yeah. and the pupil goes back to the schoolyard the meeple no uh no you you can follow this um right. this uh, sequence here. So it's a so this is a politician, so um so uh, uh she consume these books. Yes. She's okay. uh, so, so she has emptied our library out. Yes, and they go back here. Uh mm -hmm. this is a closed economy, so this is all the books that are in the game. So you need to yep. sort of... Uh, all right. Oh, so... <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, yeah. so that means I've paid the requirements. She's a hero, so I gain two reputation, and I go up to three. Yes. Uh, then... Discard to personal graduation pile. Oh, that's... That's just, done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so, move pupil plus hat. So this is the graduation hat and the meeple move to the, uh, the Sulawesi board, right? So, yes. that goes here, and then, the, there, there we are. Yeah, I can fix Oh, okay, I thought the disc went on top of the meeple okay so, uh, yeah it's yeah, yeah it's a, a bit intuitive but uh, yeah it's it's nice. for production reasons we it's uh, hard to make hats that suits <laughs> in a good way that's not too expensive uh, yes yes uh, um okay so i've got my reward what's the student row here that uh, this so one thing is as well that you you add an oh, icon. okay so right that happens then yeah and this and icon here is the vp icon so victory point and so you gain the victory point that's stated on the student row here so one oh, point there, sorry could you ah right there right gotcha yeah. so yeah uh and then so, and, and every student hero or not is is a point when they graduate um they could be zero to three points or four points it's oh, okay. it depends a bit you know what 
Ah, uh, okay. So Ooh. where does it say on the card what the what um, value is? It doesn't say on the, these cards. Uh, only I'll show you if they be a teacher, they gain you points right away. Uh, ah. But here you see it's one point here. But if you get further, oh, oh, here, right. yeah, okay, points. okay, I see. Uh, uh, but we uh, get so, and then I can move my school. Yeah. Which, but I can only move it to the border. Yes. Of the place it starts from, so that's. Yes. Yeah. So, here. yeah. So now you have the choice to you can take not right now, but the next time you do a recruit action, you yeah. can recruit here, and here, but it's empty up there. So, yeah. yeah. But that's good. And so, now, so moving schools to borders is is quite good then. Yeah, it's nice to have. Uh, and then, yeah, and then if you have any modifier, uh, you just you gain this modifier here, but it doesn't really help you now. But if yeah. you had a modifier like this, that says each time you graduate a politician, you gain a reputation. Then that would be active now. You, right. You, mm -hmm. uh, Okay. And then the last step is you move the cube here. This is uh, done. This is done after each graduation. So you move uh, it one step, cool. and that is an icon there that is covered. It's an event. So you you turn up the first event here. See what happens. Right. So, so thriving tutors. Yeah. So yeah. now when you when you graduate teachers, you gain a do it. Yeah, which and, is the currency. Oh, and now the top card of the student piles are available for registration once per turn per player. So now you can register these two cards. Uh, cool. Yeah. Cool. And that was your turn. Uh, uh, what's this um, at the top right of the event card? This. Yeah. Glad you're asking. Uh, if you play co-op, uh, there's an enemy cube here on the VP track. Ah. Mm -hmm. and, and that moves up with the events. So, mm -hmm. uh, and a victory condition is that you need to pass. You need to be ahead of the cube when the game ends. Okay. Yes. Okay, so it's Peter's turn, and you might do a graduation now, I think, right? Yes, I will. So I need the books. And I gain 50. Yeah. And the bonus uh, that Peter picked up is now his fighters are worth a point each. Yes, during the end of the game. Yeah. Yeah, so that one is only uh, these ones that that gives you victory points are only in the end. Yeah, uh, the, yeah. the other ones have uh, the persistent ability that it happens when whenever you do something. Yeah. And then I gave you get one point, ball, so it goes up the tracker. One yes. Step, right? Yep. And you can move a scoop. And on board or in next region. Uh, on the, to the border. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. And a new card is also added. So below that one. So now you can choose from these three. And all of them are free, so to say. Yeah, you don't need to pay for anything. OK. Uh, and then we look at the event or bonus tokens or hero modifiers. Uh -huh. Nothing triggers. But, uh, hold on. Um, Peter student was a politician and a fighter. So doesn't he also get 
the this uh, thing here on the no. fighter track, or does he have to um, choose between? Yeah, he choose. You choose if they have multiple aspirations or the question mark. Uh, you determine what they become when you place them in the classroom. So okay. you determine this will be a politician. So. Ah, I see. Gotcha. Yeah. And it it is okay to grab a student, put it in a classroom without a teacher. Just just you know, so you are first one to take it. Um, Okay. The only requirement for taking a, a registering a student is that you have a meeple for it that mm -hmm. matters. Otherwise, you can do anything in any order. The only requirement is the pupil. And when you start sharing islands, that becomes sort of a ah, uh, you need to get there first thing. Okay, and so you for did the registration, I do not teach. Uh, no, you didn't do it, teacher. But for okay. the graduation, yes. The, uh, for gradu graduating a teacher is every all the regular students like these could become permanent teachers. You just flip them over, and those are teachers that stay in the classroom the whole game, mm. and it rewards you victory points. And the people that you took is placed in this teacher association room. And that boards you one book back of the same color that it, yeah, it graduated in. So if this was a politician teacher. You get a blue book. Yes, exactly. So that's... So uh, and how, how will I choose to make it a teacher? Uh, Instead of uh, moving it here, you flip it. Okay. Yeah. So I was going to get go through all of these, but um, yeah. Should I uh, tell you how patrons and fighters work as well now, or should we wait? I think it's okay. And uh, so, um... can I move the trick? Yes, and. Can you figure out how that moves? Yeah. Good. So you move up here, and since you're two players, you turn. So you go oh, in so... any manner. Oh, oh, I see. Right. So it, it's balanced of different player counts. I see. And what okay. are the black arrows? Um... Just four players. Four players, you turn here, and the two players, you turn here. Yeah, but why these are black? Uh, yeah, no particular reason. Uh, just uh, it's confusing. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can we can fix that. Yeah, is this still uh, has it reached the print? No, it's, it's, yeah, it's no, this game is yeah. on Kickstarter, uh, yeah, yeah, to, yeah. together with the Third Crusade. Yeah, yeah. And what's the difference if it's a uh, line or the arrow? It depends on the just the player, player counts. Like you just follow. So in a two-player game, we turn here. We go like this. Yeah, but here it's line, and here is arrow. Oh yeah, because you always move it uh, down here. So you follow the line, but you turn uh, where, the, where the arrow is. So otherwise, you just follow the line. And then when you come to that colored arrow of your play count, you turn to the right, oh, and then yeah. down. Oh, okay. Then up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. So it's. Uh, was it Akira? Akira. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. okay. Um. So 
potentially I could use my hero to yeah. boost my reputation up to eight. Yes. That would allow me to go to uh, like Papua or uh, Borneo or to where Peter is. Yes. So if you make it, you know, uh, graduate. Game, do you want to avoid other players, or is um, it? It's um. Uh, it depends. I mean, it's if you get a school on yellow. In Java, you sort of get a this really tension between you, like to get the students before the other player, and mm -hmm. um, so, okay. so, so that's the, quite a, an aggressive tactic, yeah. Yeah, potentially quite high risk. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but you open up for trade as well, which could be good. But maybe the first island you go yeah. to. It's up to you, but I would probably go to another yeah. island, uh, especially yeah. now since there are no no pupils here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I I could go to um, you know a a province on the same island or a you know, a, a, you know an area on a different island. There's no yeah. adjacency that we're following. It's no, they're, they're the same. Yes. Just need the reputation right. to get yeah, there. Yeah, the only limit is that you can't have, you know, two schools of your color in one region. So, yeah, you want to spread out. You can have oh, it. Okay, on so uh, I can't have a school no. in. Yeah, you in, can have here, but you can't have like. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Two okay. in the same. I see. It, it, there's also no reason to have two in the same. Yeah. Like, you don't get any special things for that. Mm -hmm. uh, each, each school during the end is also one point, mm -hmm. and the schools are added by fighters as well, uh, or they open up by fighters. Yeah. So when you do a fighter graduation, you place it in one of those slots where you meet the requirements of the reputation. You flip it over. I can show you an example. This one is. Ah, you gain one book or one victory point. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. always give you stuff. Uh, yeah, they're all different. Uh, yeah, now you cheated, but uh... oh, so you aren't supposed to know this information. No, no, it's hidden. I right. Uh, oops. Well, okay. <laughs> no biggie. And yeah. so um, we have uh, yes. you know, battle. On the on our starting areas, yes. So uh, somebody else can go there. Okay, so you can't ever flip over the thing in in your own starting area. No. Now here's the question: If for my action I went and got another politician, when I graduated them. Could I move my school again to a, no. another corner? No. No, you can only move it once. Okay, so, so going for a politician isn't super useful for me at the moment. Politicians are like long term good, uh, mostly. They add a card right away, which is good uh, as well, and they open up the market, so to say, the cards. Uh, right. Store. Yeah. Uh, but I'd say. Fighters and patrons are more like engine building right away. They sort yeah, of uh, right, yeah. So, so more politicians are good, but going heavy on politicians at the start would be. Kind yeah, of you probably want to get your endowment up a bit. Uh, your endowment is increased each time you do a patron, but um, yeah, and. Now, Here's a, a question. Um, uh, you can make students into teachers. Yes. How do you do that? And what are the, the costs of that? I, I got the benefits of that, but I, I wasn't sure what the cost of. It's the same cost as any. So you take uh, the student card, and mm -hmm. instead of, instead of the discarding it to your pile, you just flip it. 
Well, right, okay. Oh, no. And then you gain the victory points. You Never still pay the books. Uh, and then you place your meeple here and you gain yeah. one book back that is uh, the same yes. color, in this case blue. Uh, and then you have a permanent teacher, so you don't need to hire any, any more okay. here. It, it, so, teachers, um, are they, you know, is there any downside? No. To making a, a student into a teacher. It's all just better than making them into a, you know, releasing them into the wild, so to speak. It depends. I mean, early, it's better to make teachers, I would say, since you then you don't need to pay money for, to hire teachers so, yeah. later. I mean, uh, students like yeah. this, uh, that only requires one you gain that book back right away. So, yeah. I mean, they are pretty easy to become teachers. This hero can only become a teacher and nothing else. So then you flip that card. Okay. Yeah. And but these, uh, yeah. these ones I, are... Ah, uh, okay. These ones so can if, if I recruited this, this mm. uh, student now... Yeah. Um, and push her in my politics room yeah she could only be a politics teacher yes okay uh, so, but this but one I could also recruit her into my empty classroom as well yes you can because this teacher is awesome to have in the patron classrooms as you see on the ability uh, oh minus she, one book okay yeah, yeah. So she, she's uh, very powerful so i will um uh, I will uh, use uh, a meeple to place her. Yeah. And uh, let's see, where was my other... Oh, oh right. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, Chris. Yeah. Okay. It's Peter. Uh, should I just explain the patron and the, the fighter? When you when you placed it on a... somewhere... Yeah, you, I know. They, yeah, then you add a school and you directly gain the pupils. So you know. And you can you can place anywhere or depending on our, your color? Depends on your reputation. In, in your case, you are two, but you gain one before. If you make a fighter now, uh, you, you will have a reputation of three. So you could go... Uh, here's a two. Two, three. Okay. Three, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And patron, just so you know what that is about. You, you, your first patron must be placed in the leftmost uh, cluster here. Uh, when you place one here, and you make another patron, you can put it in the second cluster. As long as you at least have three in reputation. I see. And your third patron can be placed here. You have five. So and are you placing you... the patron discs on like you know, one of these rewards? Yeah, and you gain that reward right away. Okay. Yes. And then it's occupied. Nobody else can take it. Uh -huh. And in, uh, in addition to this, you always gain one endowment and one victory point. Mm -hmm. for each patron and at the end of the game uh, there's a majority thing here that player who has most in each, each cluster gains one point as well um, oh my turn yes so i register this student yeah yes Get up. Okay, so um, how do I? So I'm on the border here with uh, the student in Bujis. How do I uh, take that student into my school? Uh, wait, uh, I'm 
I'm just going to answer it. So, uh, sorry, what was your question? So I've got my school on the border here, which yep. means I can access this this student yep. here. Yes. This pupil. You, yeah, you do a recruit action. You just take it and put it in your schoolyard. Okay, so uh, I'll recruit this. And does that cost money or? No, nope, nothing. Okay, just my action. Okay, Peter. So I hired this teacher for one endorsement. I am done. Yes. You pay the uh, an endowment, right? Yes. Cool. <laughs> So I'm going to buy a book after the last student uh, ate my entire library, and that will cost two. Uh, and then Peter. And so I graduate this student. Yeah. Into a teacher or into a fighter? To fight. Yes. So I gain reputation. And place my head to some fight. <laughs> Maybe here. Yeah. Oh, you flip it. Ooh. NX3 endowment. Oh, I choose. Yeah, and this one is just discarded. It's, yeah. And then you. No, it could just be put anywhere. It doesn't. And I place uh, my school. Don't don't put it in the in the pile here because uh, there's one effect here that will we take uh, tokens right. from there. So they are yeah. It's, and I play school. Yeah. And you grab those two students, uh, pupils. Sorry. Immediately. Yeah. Uh, remember to pay your book. Oh my. God. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then you look at the any modifier you have. Uh, he gains a VP for this, though, doesn't he? Uh, no. He, no, he didn't get any from the battle token. And I move. I, I thought graduating the student. Uh, not, not alone. Uh, if, uh. If, if it became a teacher, it's one point. Uh, but otherwise, yeah. the, the points are scattered on the occupation slots. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, yeah, we removed this cube, which is good. So oh, I'm done. Yeah. Next graduation, there will be a new event. So, so you can. I have, I have one money, and uh, I don't know uh, that I can do anything with that. Mm. And I don't think there's anything I can do that doesn't cost the money. So, yeah. Um, I, I think you can... could. Do uh, is this card uh, the leftmost or the the one yeah, in the column A? So this one and yeah. this one will be discarded during cleanup if it's not taken. Okay. So and um, you have a pupil, so maybe it, I mean it. It is a question mark. It's pretty nice. You could do two of any book. Yeah. So that could be something you could do. Also remember that the event thing here is that. The topmost card here is also available, and that will disappear soon. Uh, 
Um, and uh, did placing school opens the yes. row? Yeah, that opens right away. Good. Two cards have come out there right away. Oh, wrong side on those. I was I was wondering <laughs> yeah. what, uh, what what it meant that they had yeah. points uh, as students. Okay. You need so, to uh, points? <laughs> no. So uh, if I took a student now, because my you know my power up token is that uh, yeah you know one of my students doesn't cost reputation. Mm. So yeah, you know, at at the moment this uh, yeah. patron in training yeah. won't cost me a reputation at the end of the turn. But if I take um, you know one of one of these two, yeah, then I would. Uh, you you still have, have two here, so one of them will oh. will cost a reputation. Uh, oh, okay, so I may as well just grab. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's sort of my what I was aiming for uh, to tell. Also, you have this one that you can use later if your reputation is low. You have your mm -hmm. hero waiting. Uh, okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, which of these? Well, I'll grab this this uh, question mark uh, and. And I, I think I'll need a, a fighter at some point, so we'll put her into the fighting school. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, oh, hmm. I'm just noticing how many books I'm going to need. I won't yep. be able to afford all the books that I need. Yeah, that's next uh, turn. That's the... well, not not for not for this girl. So I need to. Really upgrade my uh, income if I'm ever going to graduate her. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, I guess it's Peter's turn, uh, right? So I register these two students. Right. So That's it's two actions, not one, right? No, it's one to take all of them. You need to take uh, all of them. In region. Okay. But, uh, Peter, you know that you will get minus reputation from these since you won't get them out now, I think, since you have no money. Um, just so you know. And it's for students or for the pupils? Pupils. The, each wooden meeple is one minus in rep. Uh, no, that maybe was not so good. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Um, but if you can't or won't, won't, don't want to do anything else, you could pass, which means that you will move your principal uh, down to one of the reward slots down here and gain that reward. And then you're like passed for the rest of the round. Oh, okay. And then you will also gain one of these tokens, which means. Um, it starts yellow, and when another player does his turn, and then it comes back to you, you flip it, since you have already passed. And then the next player does a, uh, an action, goes back to you, then you flip it again, and then you gain a, a, a money, one yeah. money. So it's sort of a way to the, for the other player not to sort of do too many actions, because it's just giving you money as well. So no okay, up. so there's a so, so Peter so has I two assist. options here. He could take a donate token, or he could. Oh, when you pass, it. when you pass, you gain a token. So I pass. Oh, okay. Pass. Plus the reward. Yeah. yeah. I gain yeah. two coins. Yeah. Books. And two books. And yes. I roll. Very nice. And then. This will determine this turn order for the next round. So, okay. So, Peter so, will be last next round. Yeah. So, I have, well, that, that makes my students much more likely to graduate next turn as well. Yeah. yeah. So, um, 
So if I took a donate token... You only get it when you pass. And now Peter... No, already and has turn, it. right? Yeah. If I did that now. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you have... Now if you want to make an action, do an action, or you can also pass, and then the donate token didn't have any effect this time. I, I think the only useful thing for me to do is to move the, the thing to get a book yeah. to coins and an endowment. Yeah, that's um, nice. So oh. there were ma magnetic points here, but usually you, you, you go down to this slot and then, ah, mm -hmm. then you move them back up when you have... So that would be the turn order. So that's good. Yeah. So we bo you both passed. So that's good. Okay. Um, you gain those rewards. Uh, and I get to choose which book, right? So yeah. I will grab another green book. Cool. So and which, then I um, gain two which... money, right? Yeah, two money. Yeah. So, oh, oh, this is. I moved them back oh, up here. You know, I just noticed there's a, a, a turn thing in Tabletop Simulator that we've been ignoring. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, so I, I've done my thing. So it's I'm done too. Uh, okay. So now we go to cleanup. No, we uh, first we score the event. So each fight that gains you two points. So I gain four. Yeah, and you can see that by you look at the map. See, okay, the yellow player has one fighter. So you don't need to keep track of that this card was a fighter or politician. You look at the occupation slots. Okay, so, so Peter gets two points, not four. So this could not count as fighter, it was politician. Right? Yeah, this was a politician, but you don't need to really see that on the card, because you see here is a fighter and here is a politician. Yeah. So okay. you can see that where they, the meeples are, the pupils. Okay. So we flip that, and then we do cleanup. So for each uh, pupil that you have in school, uh, the wooden meeples, um, you gain one minus reputation. Oh, I've got um, two students, or two, yes. two pupils. Yes. Uh, pupils. But minus one, so I lose one reputation. Yeah, Peter loses two. And then you gain money based on your do it, it's called, based on your endowment. Uh, so Peter gain. Oh, yeah, that's the. Um... Gain five. And then you return any donate token if you have it, or flip it if it's a co op game. Uh, in the co op game, you, whenever you trade with another player, you flip it because you can only do that once per round per player. Ah. So I've got eight money, and right. I need... And now we need to finish the cleanup. We're not done yet. Oh, oh yeah, the teacher. Uh, the higher teachers go back. And then we discard the rightmost hero. Oh, uh, okay. And it goes uh, bottom of the pile here. And um... leftmost, or yeah, a column... Uh, so these two move over. Yeah, draw you, student. yeah. You collapse the markets, the student rows, and then if you have a politician, you add until that politician. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, right. And now we repopulate the board as well. Yeah. So uh -huh. yeah. it comes out new students here or pupils. Uh -huh. So it isn't expand or suffer, it's good. Okay, well that's very cool. Yeah. So... And, that, and that's uh, now a reason for why you might want to go to a place someone else already has a school, because then yep. you could... Then yep. there are actually students that you could... Yes. Recruit. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Um, and that that was it. Now we just do another turn. And I think the do do it token are moving. 
Uh, no, that's uh, we are trying another thing that it doesn't move. Previously, it moved, but now we are trying that they they should stay. So you instead pay to the politician player, and you sort of yeah. So we we are trying that version now. Uh, so, if I go here, it costs me something yeah. or not? It costs one to uh, Akira. Okay. Yeah, to the one who, who opened that slot. Okay. You pay one like tribute thing. Okay, so turn order is now. Uh, Akira starts. Uh, so, I need a teacher. Um... And you know what? I think I'll grab a, a politics uh, or a patron. Uh, yeah. Here. So that costs one. And then yeah. it's Peter. Yeah. Mm. So in the end, uh, you gain. A lot of points if you have uh, different colored frames. Uh, that's uh, sort of a major point springer. If you have one of each uh, frame, you get 25 points. But um, yeah, so if you, if, then you can have that as a goal. And each school is one point, just so yeah. you know. Uh, if your endowment or reputation is on eight, they gain you three points. Uh, otherwise, two or one or zero. So you try and to have high in the end as well. But um, yeah. No, so I this. register this then. No, I cannot. Need. Yeah, you need pupils first. Empty. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, so I need to buy books. Yeah. So two per book, and you can buy any number of books in the turn, right? Uh, you can buy up to three books. Up to three. Um, yeah. Yeah. There is a problem. Oh, go ahead and just spend six money. <laughs> oh my gosh! Right. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's the heroes. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Okay, Peter. Expensive to graduate. Yeah. Yeah. You can have a maximum of three hero abilities active at once. So. Oh, okay. If you. I can register only one pupil. Uh, not, not since you you moved your school to to that. If you have moved your school here, you could choose. But uh, I'm fine if you want to change that. Uh, since you didn't know, uh, I don't know. It's a learning game, so if you want to. I need to hire a bot. Yeah. I think it's not a good rule, but... Okay. But uh, if you want to, you could have moved your school there. You can say that. Fine. For me. If Akira is okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. And how, how we can move school? Uh, with your politician. But I move... I move it here, so it's... Okay, yeah. I if you wanted to, if you didn't know uh, that rule, so. Cool. Oh. All right. Then it's Akira again. Okay. Um, so, uh, I think that I will graduate um, a patron and make her a teacher. So... 
She chews quite a lot of books. Uh, um, oh. So like that. So we then have two politics books. One of the other two return to the pool. So um, uh, this is still a, a patron now that she's graduated, right? Um, yeah, this is a patron. And you well, I, I, I'm, I like so the, the this was my teacher. Oh yeah. And then I'm making her student the new uh, patron, patronage team. Yes, yes. But you keep this one um, just for, yeah, it doesn't really matter. But it, it, like for you, it doesn't really matter. But it matters for the player who wants to hire a patron teacher if there are yeah. enough. Uh, okay. So, um, but I still uh, do the, you know, the same action. Oh, it's a teacher. Oh, okay. Oh, right. so, it's, so it's called as a patron or not? This is a teacher, the teacher icon here. Uh, yeah, okay. So flip card teacher. So uh, I can, oh, when I promote a teacher, I can move the pupil and the hat to any slot that meets uh, their occupation, but that depends no, it, on what they graduate as, right? Uh, so this is only a teacher. So you pay the requirements, right? You gain yeah. two rep. Yep. Yeah. And then you commit. Teacher. And then you take your pupil with the hat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you place it here. And you gain a green book back since it's in the green classroom. Ah, uh, okay. And uh, then you uh, gain victory points as indicated on the card. Okay. Oh, so four. Yes. Yeah. So the hero teachers gain you a bunch of points. And then you uh, look at the event. Yeah, you gain a, a coin as well. Okay, so that's... Uh... And then you uh, move this. Yeah, There's a new a, a new event. Yep. Which uh, okay, so graduating yeah. fighter increases your reputation two slots. Yeah. Very nice. And during cleanup, each of your pupils on your school board loses you one victory points instead yeah. of rep. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so nice. now you don't want to have too many. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I only have one, and I can graduate her, so that's something. Yeah. Uh, and then, right, okay, so we've done everything for yes. that. So, so, yeah, I think Peter is you. I I Oh, I hired teacher. Or one money. There, there are some interesting dynamics to this game. Uh, okay, so I'm going to spend one to take a fighting teacher. And then be done. Oh, I graduate this student it costs two books of classroom color okay. 
Yeah. Under the show. Can I place it? Of somewhere here. Yeah. So money or more flexibility, but it costs you one additional action since you need to buy the book. Uh, each book is, you know, worth two coins, but you could use your money to for those as well. I think so it's a. Uh, uh, that's reputation. Oh, okay, okay. So going on the book gives you a book. Yes. Okay. I gain money. All right. Yeah, keep the engine going. And then you... And I gained one coin. You gain one uh, victory point and one endowment. Did you go up two on your money, by the way? I did, didn't you? Seven. I have seven. Yeah, and you, your slot here said two coins. All right. Um, all right. And then. Uh, any bonus no. from anything? No, and then you just advance on that track. Cool. Oh, yeah. yeah, what is this next event here? Yeah, that means all the battle tokens here with two on them will be removed and replaced by whatever is on top of this battle token stack. So it will be harder to get out, but also more rewards are available. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, there could be twos added as well, but you never know. So... so I'm thinking that. Uh... Hmm. I could. Make my student a teacher, or I could make her into a fighter, and we get extra rewards for making fighters at the moment. Yeah. So, hmm, that's an interesting one. Do I go for the, oh, uh, let's go for the short term reward. So I will, oops. I will uh, make a, a fighting student. So yeah. Graduate her as a fighter. If uh, you if you want, you could activate your hero to raise your reputation. Okay. Well, so you... first of all, I. I've paid my requirements. I now gain a yeah. reputation. Yes. And the event happens last of all, right? Yes. Yeah, the event happens after I place the... Mm. Oh, that's a, that's a shame, but okay. Yeah, uh, so maybe you could uh, wait with that one then, since you are gaining two more soon. And then yeah, well, that's, you... the, the thing that I'm considering is that because yeah. uh, uh, I could, well, so nah. by, when I place a school, I will have five reputation. Now I don't get the event until after I place the school, right? Yes. Yes. Um, but I mean, if you for some reason get a very low rep later, I don't think you will though. So maybe use it. Um, but um, then you could, yeah, get a higher reward now. If you use your hero, uh, 
but then you get to the same island here maybe here or here it's interesting that they are really on your starting places and now on the same island as the other player that's fun yeah um <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure, and this is a you know, once per game thing, uh, but I will be going up to seven reputation and eight. Oh, yeah, uh, with the with this, yeah. And there are things that knock reputation down, but I haven't seen too many just yet. Yeah, well, it's the pupils if you have them at the end of the turn. Um, yeah, mostly. Um, okay. I think then that I will. Uh, yeah, yeah. So there are two reputation losses. So not that. Yeah, and and those happen to all players except the ones, the one player who did the graduation that pushes the. Oh, okay. So you could, yeah. It, it seems like it would be useful to use the the the, the special ability now, though, yeah. just because it looks like it's fairly easy to. Yeah, okay. yeah. High on reputation. reputation, you know, you especially get... for me because I have the thing that makes having uh, yeah. you know meeples less. Yeah. And each so, graduation is also pushing it up. So I think you're pretty by what good to use this one. So you, you since this is a once per game, you could flip it. Just uh, so. Or I could put the discarded uh, token. That. Uh, the die. Yeah, sure. But uh, I guess yeah, because you can't use it. I've used her ability, so there isn't anything else that she really does. So. This gains me four money and um, four points, I think. Yes. So we're going up to nine. I now have a school in Mataram. I'll move your guy here. Sure. Yeah. And then you gain those two. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I just gained these, okay. But now you have also access to these cards here, the yellow yeah. one. So that's... Well, and, and Peter and I can trade, right? Yep. Uh, okay, so we've got... And you, well, you are already on top from, uh, from your hero, so... Oh, okay. Oh, that just moves me right to the max. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like you move to eight and then you decrease it back down. No, no, no. Oh. Yes. Great reputation right away. Uh, and then, yeah. Oh, okay. So that you now, you placed your school. Any uh, bonuses? Yes, Which but you... Are don't get because exactly so you just move the queue well, that wasn't a great time to to do that thing then. well it was tough but i think it's better to do it now than me i yeah. think it's uh, i think it's right. okay oh, so um, all the twos here you move since you move uh, the cube here oh yeah the twos are replaced with it it became a two again here, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, but yes, remember there were other twos though, weren't there? Because uh, yeah. yeah, there's one in Ache here. Yeah, I'll remove it. Grab one here. Thank you. And we have another one, right? Uh, yeah, war. The that one I already changed. Ah, uh, okay, right. Yeah. So I think we're good. Didn't have so much effect this time. Um, yeah, now it's Peter. It, uh, so the, it moved here or not? Yeah. So pause the turn. 
I buy books. I buy three. Three. Yep. Yes. That's a kid up. Yeah, I'm just looking at. Uh... Uh, okay, so I'm going to uh, get a student. Um, oh, but ah, darn it. I forgot that the event that lets us take off the top are. Not anymore. That was an old. Not there anymore. So. Yeah. Hmm. So I could either take a student and give Peter money. Or, or, I could or take... this one. This one is still for free. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm looking at. Um, the ability here, and it isn't minus one book, it's minus one ah. patronage book specifically. Yes. So a thing that is, uh, you know, one of any book, making her a patron is not yeah. a great move. <laughs> Something yeah. that, you know, like uh, this student here that I pay Peter for, mm -hmm. so that would save me a book because she needs two of the same. Yeah. The one here that takes two of any book. Yeah. I mean, that's you know much more expensive, but also that would be the same cost. That would be like the two money will replace the book cost. This one right. will cost you three money in total. Sort of like one book, one and a half book. Then one is going to him. Uh, yeah, and this one will just be standard. And. Was it having teachers with different, uh, right? Oh, and also I forgot their heroes. Yeah. This one is, uh, the text should be uh, ignore the to do its token on this one. Oh. Um. Uh, that's tempting. Yeah, that's a good one. That's one of my favorites, I need to say. Uh, yeah. And this one, I could ignore the... Ooh, okay. Oh, so there are a couple of patrons that would be quite good to train up. The question now, do hero uh, do hero abilities affect the just the same hero? Uh, no, this this is each time you do a fighter. But uh, not, okay. not not this one. What did you mean? If you if I graduate this one, this ability do not count yet. Or... Only when when you have graduated it, it counts for others. Um, others. This this person as well. I mean, this graduation counts to this ability. Uh, so you when you graduate her, uh, you immediately the ability becomes available. So you you can choose five victory points okay. instead of the battle token loot. Okay. So if you you, then you can go, you know, to a two if you want, and then still gain five points. Uh, do you get to look at what the loot would be before you do that? Yes. Okay. Uh, um, so, and you said that different frames were worth points. Is that only for teachers or graduations total that you have made? So right now oh. you have you have two. Two okay. different colors. Um, Peter also has two different colors. So two different are let's see uh, three points. If you have uh, three, you get six points. If you have four, you get ten points. Five, fifteen points. Twenty points if you have six, and twenty five. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. 
Um, Whose turn is it? Uh, it's mine, and I'm just uh, having a bit of analysis paralysis. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I, I quite like. <laughs> yeah, I quite like. You know the. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I want to start training a patron, and they're you know like a bunch of um, uh, enticing options here. Uh, mm. you know, I could train up another hero. I could get you know, a yellow card, uh, which you know is worth points. Um, and let's see, it's the rightmost. Hero is the one who goes to the bottom of the deck at the end of the turn. Yep. Uh, well, I don't really have the resources to train her. You could sort of, uh, what's it called? Uh, take her just so he doesn't get to take her. You know, the. Uh, True. That kind um, of thing when you play competitive. Yeah, um, but, um, yeah. um, you know, like all of these heroes, they seem very nice, so mm. you know, trying to stop Peter from getting a hero doesn't seem like, a, you know, a great, you know, the, the ability denial doesn't seem huge. Yeah. Like, because if I take her, then, you know, he could always take this very nice politician. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and yeah, okay. Um, hmm. I'll uh, pay Peter uh, one one coin and take uh, yellow stick. Oh, why are you scared this one? They don't refresh this turn. They refresh a cleanup, right? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So it's me again. Um, so I think that I will buy books. Uh, yeah. One of these patronage books. And what else do we have? Um, anyone that I can possibly. There are no one book cost students. Um, uh, I'll, I'll get a, a red book. Okay, Peter. I buy one red book. Mm. Uh, so I am going to, um, oh, and I, I spent all of my money. So I'm going to, uh, train this, uh, this, this patronage student, um, who is, uh, two VP and costs me one book. So I'll pay the book and then I get one reputation, but I can't because I'm maxed out. I discard to the graduation file. Oh yeah, and then the pupil and the hat goes to the patronage uh, area. Um, so let's see, I could... Interesting. Because if I go for a book, I could graduate someone this turn. Graduate a teacher, even. Mm. You know what? Let's just do that. I will... Uh, put my graduate in the place where it, it gives me a book. Uh, where's the 
little meeple up there, right? So that gives me a patronage book. Uh, and then what else do I do with patrons? Um, ah, so the I get I go up one in the patronage track, right? Yeah, in endowments and one in victory points. Yep. And, and any modifiers that would And then the student themselves has two victory points on them, so I go up another two. Only if it's a teacher. Did you make it a teacher? Oh. No. No, I got it, got it as a student. Oh, yeah. I already have a, a teacher in that area. Yeah. Okay, and then you move the cube here. And flip an event. Uh. Oh. So, yeah. Now, if you make teachers, you gain a victory point and, uh, and also lose. Take, uh, so, Sumba loses a student. Yeah, it's here. So, she's gone. And since it's already uh, empty here, nothing happens. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I think that's everything. There. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I will graduate my student. Mm -hmm. I gain a reputation. You pay the requirements. Oh, yes. Yeah. Please. So yeah. It needs to be in I, the I know, uh, I know I'm choosing. Yeah. Will I want? I take one. Okay, one point. Then you also get one point and an endowment for as to general patron bonus. Did I get that last when I did that? Uh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. And... Then you. Uh, uh, move the cube since there's no other modifier. And we so lose. Uh, and we each lose one reputation, right? Or no. Yes. Uh, oh, only uh, Akira. Okay, cool. And I'm done. Yeah. And uh, next time we will start losing books from here. So it will become uh, tighter. You know. Uh, so, if there are no books in the library, and let's say Peter and I each had two books at the next graduation, two blue yeah. books. Yeah, then you ignore it. If it's empty, you ah, ignore it. Okay, so yeah. if the books are in libraries, then... Yeah. There... Okay, yeah. well, that's... Um, hmm, well, I'm about to graduate a student. Here. Well, so okay. first I need to pick up the student. So I'm going to pick up this... Uh, uh, you need to have a purple, purple meeple first pupil. Oh wait! So you can't pick up 
pupils no. with any color. They have to be from... Yeah, yeah it needs the... to be the same. Oh, well, okay then. Um, well, uh, uh, then I will recruit this... Uh, yeah. Purple people yeah. from Sulawesi. That's Peter. And do you have to recruit all three or not? No, from uh, the re one region. So either this one or oh. those two. We can choose. But still, ev every everyone that's in the same region, you need to you need to recruit. So oh, I. Take this student. Powering up the patronage. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to pick up this uh, professor. purple meeple. Oh, I just noticed the meeples from different regions are slightly different. Yeah, they all have different shapes. Um, it's, uh, Very neat. And, and yeah. you can pay someone else, one do it to recruit from his school, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we haven't gone through that yet. But yes, so you can pay Akira one do it to recruit from where he has a school on another. And uh, you can't really refuse that. Uh, Okay. Uh, well, you know, I need money, so. A trade. Like yeah. so it doesn't it, look it, like that will be relevant just yet. Yeah, but it differs from the trade because in the trade you both need to agree, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. And it's gonna. One minute. And who, okay, who starts? Is now. Mm -hmm. So what you've done, you... Yeah, you look great. So I will graduate this student. Uh, I, I hadn't done anything since the thing last. I was just thinking, uh, Peter, is it okay with you if I recruit from the place where I have two meeples instead of just one? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so uh, so my my actual action will be uh, yeah I think I just have to graduate and I think I might graduate the yeah let's just graduate a teacher um, so yes. Here. Uh, right. So the requirements I need to. Okay, yeah, two books. Okay. And you get uh, one back. Uh, yes, but I. First, I get one reputation. Then I flip the card to its teacher side. And then move people, right? Yeah, and then I get a book. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll grab a blue book and student card. Oh, right, that's the two VPs. Yeah, two. I also get one from the event, which is one point graduating teacher. But I think and you can only take a book that is the same as your classroom. Is that so? Okay. Um, I'm back. Welcome back. Thanks. So when you're taking a book for the student, it needs to match the icons on the... I'm making her a teacher. So it's a fighting or a patronage book, right? Uh, yeah, it's on the. Oh, so it's same as as they need to be educated. 
Um, um, you mean when you have graduated them already? Yeah, when the, yeah, you take uh, it. What matches the classroom? Oh, ah, okay. So, so I need to take a, a fighting yeah. book. Okay. Yeah. Right. So let's say you did this one. You still need. You still game on red. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, and then I get to do. Oh yeah, we. I I got the event bonus. Um, and now we move up and we burn some books. Yeah. I... All that uh, knowledge, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I I didn't like doing that, but I I felt like it was important to just keep progressing. Yeah, it's. This, as you may note, this sort of simulates some of the external elements, you know, that yeah. works against you. Uh, anyway. So, Peter, uh... I will graduate to my student. Yeah. I do. And on reputation. Yeah. Point. You could move here. Get two points. No, you only have four in uh, red. Ah, okay. Yeah. So. Uh, and you gain the additional things up here, yeah. and down and victory points. No, um, no more endorsement. Ah, uh, you can start higher teachers with that one. Okay. Oh, uh, maybe I will make it. Oh, yeah. Endowment. That's why you sometimes want to spend endowment because if you're maxed out. Yeah, sure. Uh, but it yes. also, so if you I will, to... I will make a teacher. It will be better. Okay, and also if you uh, if you have zero money, you can still hire a teacher if you still have books yeah. to. So yeah. Yeah. So right. instead, I will be. I get one book back. Yeah. I get two points and one for event. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's... did you move... So if you're changing yeah. what you did, did you move your... Yes, I, I, reset it. I reset it back. Yeah. Cool. That was and good. And that's... then you, you move the cube. So we use a green book. Yes. And then we just continue. Uh, I need to say I need to ro leave soon. Uh, a maximum of fifteen minutes, but I could probably give you one of you the host so you can continue. I think. Uh, I don't know if you can give people the host. I think so. It's oh well. Uh, yeah, give it to Peter, for instance. Or I, uh, or I can save it and reload. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, or we can, you can continue a little bit more, uh, just so you know. We have a Swedish holiday, uh, and we need to go. I need to do a lot of stuff after work here, mm. and this evening before midsummer. Well, I hope it's a good mid midsummer holiday for you. Um, yeah, thanks. So it's my action. So I want to uh, pick up a student here. Otherwise, she'll get discarded. And she only cost one book to train. Mm -hmm. Figure that's uh, pretty and useful. I will have a bunch of comments on some things here. Yeah, and you could, you can, you can write them to me, if you want, or if you want to tell them now, it's fine as well. Yeah. 
Uh, Peter, it's your it's your turn, by the way. I think I will. I will pass. Okay, you're taking the donate token. Thanks. Um. Books. I think that I will also pass, and so I'll get two money, endowment, and a book. All right. Cool. And then we look at the uh, milestone. Uh, so patrons gain you two points. Oh, yeah, four uh, points. We can look here. Uh, yeah. Peter two uh, four points and Peter two points. Cool. Cool. We flip it and we start with the cleanup. So you first of all you lose reputation from your pupils that are ungraduated. Uh, I will lose one reputation. Two? No, because I have the power ah. up here. Nice. Yep. Cool. And Peter lost as well, I think. Yes. No. Yeah, one. Okay. Cool. And then you gain do it from your endowment. And you return these donate tokens. And you return the hired teachers. Ah, uh, yes. And you discard the rightmost hero. Uh, and we discard oh, any card here. There's nothing, so we just collapse the market. Refresh. Cool. And we repopulate. The islands as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. Everybody. Okay. Uh, right. And then we just continue on. Uh, but do you um, want to give some comments before I need to run? Yes. About anything? Yeah, it's interesting game. It has more depth than I was expecting when I seen it. Time. Yeah. That's good. Um, I I was just wanting to ask also the top card of the hero deck is also available for. Yeah. Yes, they are. Uh, yeah, uh, that was I... my another question. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's it, available. It reminds me a bit Vandal to Viking when you need to prepare your stuff to place your guys on the right spot. Yeah, yeah, sort of tie into the uh, yeah the geography of stuff. Yeah. But I think that the island should move same way, not towards the center. Yeah, we we have like gone back and forth about that, and we will see what, what we end up with. We have as, as a backer impact that we could on the back of these, you can have the different, you know, the op 